So I think this year, in a certain respect, will be a little bit tougher, certainly more for Wall Street than Main Street. But Fed policy may very well be the central issue that you will have to contend with, along with supply chains, because this is the first time the Fed has openly, and I mean very openly, the most I've ever seen, most transparent, Fed, transparent Federal Reserve in my career. Jay Powell came out yesterday, said he expects to raise rates at every meeting this year. That's seven hikes in total, including yesterday's. We don't know if they'll go past a quarter point and jump to 50 basis points or a half point in order to cool inflation. And the total expected number of interest rate hikes between now and 2023 is 11. Now, usually the Federal Reserve raise, raises interest rates until something breaks. Either we slip into recession or there's some event in the financial markets that threatens the system or threatens economic stability, and the Fed begins to dial back and starts lowering rates again. That is the process that I've experienced over 38 years. That's the way the Fed has moved. They are trying to achieve a soft landing, where they bring inflation down but do not throw us into recession. And it is mythical in a sense. They've tried it many times. We had a great moderation from the mid-'80s into the year 2000, but there were periods in which the Fed raised interest rates until something broke. That was true during the Internet bubble years. It was true during the real estate bubble years. The Fed was on path in 2018 to raise rates and cool an economy that was growing about 2.5%, but the unemployment rate was all the way down to 35 and again, we were short workers. So this time, it's, it's a much more difficult environment, and I think it's much more problematic for the Fed insofar as the economy is very hot, we're short workers, we're short the supply of homes, as you well know. Um, we're 5.8 million units short of demand in the United States when it comes to housing. And the price of most of its components, of housing components, are up. And mortgage rates are also going up, uh, and, and going up rather quickly. The argument that there's a lag in Fed policy, which was prevalent when I first entered this business in 1984, I no longer think to be true. We're seeing mortgage rates change day by day. We're seeing costs move on a much more rapid pace, much more rapid uh, trajectory than we've seen in prior periods. And so Fed policy is going to be critical to the outlook for the economy. Whether or not they can achieve a soft landing is an open question. Um, I haven't seen it done. Again, there were periods throughout the 90s where we had disruptions, the Federal Reserve would tighten, something would break, and then they'd go back to a much more accommodative policy, and all was right in the world. Um, how that happens now, I think, is a little bit harder to describe because the Fed also doesn't control some of the inputs to inflation today.